Hello fellow Stranger Things fans, this is JAR369, welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Stranger Things 4-pack of Ghostbusters Dustin, Mike, Will, and Lucas Sinclair by of course McFarlane Toys. So take a look at the packaging here. You can see the window that exposes the figure and the accessories. And you got the, it's recommended for ages 12 plus, and you get the Stranger Things logo, a Netflix original series. You get the Ghostbusters, Dustin, Mike, and Will. On the side here, you can clearly see the poster from season two. And on the top here, you get the, um, the same thing here, Ghostbusters, Dustin, Mike, and Will, and Lucas, Stranger Things logo. And also... The usual McFarland Toys logo on the back. Here, whoops! And on the back here, you can see the pictures of of the kids in their Ghostbusters outfit, including other figures from this line like Will Byers, Eleven, Barb Holland, Mike Wheeler, and of course Will Byers upside down Will Byers, which is a Walmart exclusive. And GameStop exclusive Barb. Now she eventually appeared in Five Below. Dang. For five bucks. Dang. I should have got one from. I should have got it from GameStop for 16 bucks. Uh, cursive. Cursive old me. So that's about it for the, um, the package. Now let's release all four. Ghostbusters kits out of the box. Here we got all four of them out of the box. Now let's start with Lucas Sinclair. Now the likeness to the actor who plays him, I gotta say, let's focus on the head sculpt here. There we go. The likeness on the actor who plays Lucas, I say they did a good job capturing his likeness to him. Now for the outfit here on him, you get the usual Ghostbusters logo on on the shoulder here. You can see some pockets there. And also you can see the little name tag here. It says Fankman. The same thing with Will and I'll, I mean I'm sorry, Mike. And I'll show you in a minute. Uh nothing much on the um on the pants here. And take a look at the shoes. You can see some oldest shoelaces here. And some white on the shoes there. You can see the green lines there, of course. And the bottom, there's one pickle in the bottom of the feet as well. So that's about it. I say that's about it for Lucas as Figman. And now let's look at everybody's favorite character from the Stranger Things, Dustin. Now, take a look at the um, head scope here. I gotta say, I say they did a good job capturing the likeness to uh, uh, Gideon Glenn. I, I, I don't know. But I say the head scope is really a good job. You can see some the nice smile on him. And there's a big difference between this figure. That that the um, the single carter one, he is wearing the, uh, the hat from the first season. Well, this one is not, which is fine, which is you can use, like, swap out heads, all that stuff. Uh, take a look at the outfit here. Now, the, the jumpsuit on him is pretty much different from the others, from the other two. Like, you see here, you get the color that's opened up, and you get, it feels the black shirt underneath it here. And also, you get the name tags, dance. Funny enough, they had, like, the little red stitches on him. Pretty nice, well done. I say they did a good job. Again, the Ghostbusters logo has other, other characters. And you get the little pockets there on each of them. Uh, take a look at the shoes. Nothing much on the shoes here. You can see some molded shoelaces there. And like the others, there's a peg hole on the bottom of the feet as well. So that's about it for Dustin. Now let's look at Mike. Now, the likeness to Finn Wolfhard, I gotta say, they did a good job capturing the likeness, his head scope on him. Now, take a look at the jumpsuit here. Again, same thing, but you can see, you can see he still has the name tag on it. So, they use, 
Dustin's body with, but then they added a figment on it. Because if, if you remember, if you've seen that one scene from the show, they were always arguing that Lucas should be Winston and and Will should be, be I mean, I'm sorry, Mike should be fake men, but Lucas asked he should be Winston, but he doesn't, because you know what. And again, you get the Ghostbusters logo here, nothing much on the jumpsuit, it's the same. And take a look at the, um, the shoes here, you can see the blue lines there, you got the molded shoelaces there, and all that stuff. And again, you can see there's pickles in the bottom of the feet as well. So that's about it for Mike. Now let's look at Will. Now take a look at the head sculpt on him. I say they did a good job capturing the likeness to the actor who plays Will. They did a good job on him. The head sculpt looks really, really well done. I gotta say, this is exactly the head, the same head as the um from Wave. You know, part of the uh, third wave, I believe. And also, you can see the name tag here, and it's actually... You can't see it very much, but it's Spangler, which means Egon. So he's Egon. Again, for the jumpsuit, nothing much. You get pockets, you get the Ghostbusters logo, and I forgot to mention, there's some crisp wrinkles on each of all of the um, their jumpsuits. And you can see the his um, black shoes there. You get the little white lines there. And of course, you get the molded shoelaces here. And also on the bottom, there's some pegos in the bottom of you. Of course, each all of them has legal jumbo crap. So overall, the details, the sculpt, everything else is perfect. Everything else it looks very phenomenal. Now, articulation-wise, the head can go full rotate. It's hindered by the ball joint. Both arms go, all of the arms go full rotate and go in and out. Bend at the elbows, rotate at the elbows for all of them. The lower wrist rotation and thus hinge and the upper wrist does rotate, the hand rotates. All four of them have some waist articulation. Oops. And all four of them has legs and go forward and back, in and out. And at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, and the feet can go pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. So yeah, that's about it for, for articulation. Very well done. Now for accessory wise, all four of them came with the proton packs. They're homemade proton packs. Take a look at Will's proton pack. You can see there's like a little thermometer there, and then there's also buttons there, and you get a little warning lines warning stickers right here and also the little blue tag here but i'm really glad that mcfarland toys decided to do the um do the printing on the proton packs besides what diamond select is doing adding stickers which is a lazy touch little wirings there and get the buttons here that's about it for will's proton back and let's look at lucas's while well, Lucas here has this the buttons on there and also the warning of course and does have like a compass on him I have no idea why a compass <laughs> pretty strange I mean hey it's a homemade proton pack what else do I expect so that's about it for Lucas and let's look at Mike's proton pack again you get a little warning and all that stuff and also you can see there's a little buttons here the colors are different on each of them and also there's a little big button here <laughs> funny we're just printed on to it again wiring everything else is the same and then let's look at finally dustin's proton pack again same thing here the proton pack is pretty much exactly the same. Everything, get the buttons and this thermometer, that stuff. But the only bigger difference on Dustin's proton pack, throughout the show, he comes with the, the ghost trap that he comes to, that he always carries them. I mean, hey, who couldn't have a Ghostbusters without a ghost trap? I mean, I say they did a good job capturing the um, 
the looks from the pro from the ghost trap and you get a little warning and all that stuff the red lines there i think they did a good job and the fun thing is this thing opens and what it reveals to be oh yeah i gotta say a little bit of warning be careful about those um traps you see these um door flappers come off easily and also for for Luke, for Dustin, he does come with he does come with the um dart underneath here. I gotta say they did a good job with the uh, the dart minifigurine. I say it looks really really good. I mean they did. I mean McFarlane Toys did a good job printing the uh, print. I say the paint jobs on the um the dart the mini dart. Yeah, and I'm hoping. Yeah, since McFarland's making a demo dog, then and it was a two pack with Dustin, so I cannot wait for that. And also for Will, he does come with his camcorder, which is a nice. It has some nice detail. You can see some some chemicals and the little wiring and the little name tag here, and also you get the little gadgets here. And also there's like the a cassette player. I mean, you can see the little microphone there. I say they did a good job. You can a little wiring to hold on to it. You can see the little home, little iPad thing here. I don't know, telescope for the for the see the everything else. And also, what's fun is it says TMP. I guess TM stands for Todd McFarlane because they won't actually use the other name because of licensing. So they decided to add a Todd Todd McFarlane on it. I'm pretty sure piece for photos I guess so I'm gonna display him holding the camera on the wheel figure come on there we go there we go well it does not hold on very well because it's basically it just loose on it on the figure come on yeah maybe I'll just hold on the other handle here on this handle come on. there we go there we go much better Oh, also, I forgot to mention that all the four Luke Stranger Things characters, they all come with display stands. Just like every single McFarlane toys came with display stands. And so that's about it. So overall, for these figures, I gotta say, these are very well done. Done sculpt to it. I gotta say, they did a good job with the figures and everything. I like how they captured the likeness, the actors, the sculpt, everything else it looks perfect. And I, I say, this box set is a pretty much well done box set for your Stranger Things collection. And it was retail, originally retailed for 70 bucks for all of them. I guess that's 19 for each of the figures. But I got... But since GameStop is having a sale on these figures, I got, I finally found them at other, at my other GameStop for about $7. I mean, $7 for four figures, that is a not bad deal. So if you've seen this at your local GameStop or anywhere else, uh, I mean like other GameStops, then I highly recommend picking this set up. So my, my number on them, I'm going to give them... A solidly 10 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be not notified of new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is the McFarlane Toys Stranger Things Ghostbusters 4 pack of, My of Dustin, Mike, Will, and Lucas figures by... McFarlane Toys, and this is JAR369, and goodbye.